Hey Snowflake, in this video I'm going to give you some tough love that your daddy should have given you but probably didn't, so if that triggers you, then click off this video now and go back to watching your Spongebob Squarepants. Okay, I'm making this video to tell you to stop being a victim and to show you how because where you put your focus determines where you put your energy and where you put your energy determines where your future goes. Now at any time in your life, regardless of what's going on, regardless of your circumstances, you can always choose to be a victim and you can always choose not to be a victim. You always have both of those choices because there's always something that's going wrong that you can say, oh, the external environment isn't good enough for me. There's some circumstances preventing me from doing what I want to do in life. You can do that in basically any circumstance, and probably a lot of you guys that are watching have been constantly guilty of this. At any given time, what happens to you, what happens in your life is determined by two factors. One is your environment, everything that's outside you, and two is yourself, everything that's inside you, everything that you personally can do, can have control over. Have you ever noticed that the people who succeed take credit for it themselves? They say, I created this success. But the people who fail blame their environment. They say, I'm a victim of some uncontrollable circumstance outside me. I've heard it said that all men are self-made men, but only the successful ones admit it. And that's true, but it's true with a bit of a time lag because, see, the people who are successful now were not always successful in most cases. Most of those people came from nothing. They came from a much lesser position. And those are the people who recognized, even while they were still in that low position, they recognized their faults and their failures and the fact that they had control over their own destiny. So sure, it's real easy to take credit when you have a success, but you also have to take credit or you also have to take the responsibility when you fail. So the way it happens is the people who focus on the things around them, the environment, the things they can't control, usually are looking for excuses for their failures, and those people somehow always end up as failures. However, the people who look inside and look at the things that they can control, and that determines their focus in life, if they're not successful now, that state isn't going to last very long because they're going to be successful sooner or later, and in many cases they've already been successful because that is the focus that creates success in life. I hear so many excuses from people who never get anywhere in life. They blame the economy, or they blame the president, they blame global warming, or they blame their past, or they blame their parents for not teaching them the right things, as if they couldn't go learn those things themselves. And by the way, all you right-wingers that are laughing at the snowflake Democrat trigger warning type people because they engage in this victim mentality to the extreme, you are not exempt. I don't care how rational, how good your excuse is. If you have excuses about why you can't succeed because of something outside you, whether it's because the immigrants are taking the jobs, whether it's because affirmative action is keeping you from getting promoted, or the, the taxation regulation is stifling the economy and making it difficult to do business, if you focus on those, those complaints, your focus determines where your energy goes and your energy determines where your destiny goes. So if you believe that you can't start a successful business because of the oppressive regulations, because of the taxes, well then you are not going to start a successful business. And the fault will not be with the government, but with your own mindset, because you already disqualified yourself by saying that you couldn't. So I hope you see the point here, that whether you're right or wrong, whether your complaints are legitimate or not, doesn't really make much difference in the end, because if you're a failure whose complaints are legitimate, if you're a failure who's right, it's not really much better than being a failure who's wrong. And it may be that your parents were terrible and they never taught you the things that you needed to know in life. Fine. You can recognize that and you can still notice that obstacle and push through it. You recognize your parents didn't teach you what you need to know, but the fact that you realize that you need to know those things means you can go teach yourself. Don't blame your parents for something that you can do yourself. Now, whatever problems you may have in your life, be they real or imagined, you have the opportunity to focus on those problems or to focus on the opportunities, and I guarantee you that wherever you live, in whatever situation you happen to be in, there are thousands, if not millions, of opportunities surrounding you at every moment. If you are watching this video, then I know one thing about you, and that is that you have access to the internet. With the internet, you have more opportunities than the richest, most powerful person on Earth 50 years ago. I mean that literally, that's not an exaggeration. So, if you're focused on all your problems, well, you're gonna be completely blind to the opportunities that are right in front of you. 
Some of you guys probably know there was a famous psychological study where participants were asked to watch a video, and in the video was a bunch of kids that were passing basketballs to each other, and the participants were asked to count how many times the basketball was passed. So they played the video, and then in the middle of the video, a guy in a gorilla costume comes out right between everybody in the basketball court and starts beating his chest for a couple minutes and then walks away. And then after the experiment's over, they ask the participants that watch the video, how many of you guys noticed the gorilla in the middle of the court? And most of them did not notice it. Even though it was right there, it was something completely out of the ordinary. Most people missed it. And the point of that is that if you're not looking for something, you're probably going to miss it. Those people were not looking for a gorilla. They were looking for how many times the basketball was passed. So if you are looking for problems, if you're looking for things to blame for your failures in life, you are going to find them and you are going to find many of them. However, if you can shift your focus from the problems, the circumstances, everything outside you that you can't control and start focusing instead on the opportunities, you'll start to notice that the opportunities are huge, they are everywhere, and they are glaring like a big gorilla in the middle of a basketball court. So quit complaining about the president, quit complaining about immigration, quit complaining about your parents, and start to focus on the opportunities instead. You are a child of God. You are created in His image. You are created as a fellow creator with Him, and that spark of divinity within your soul means that you are able to create just as your Creator created you. You can create your destiny. It doesn't matter what your external circumstances are. It doesn't matter what everybody else is doing. It doesn't matter who the president is or what the immigration policy is. It doesn't matter what your parents taught you. It is up to you to create your own destiny. You have that power. So go out there, smash through all the obstacles, and claim the destiny that is your birthright. If you like this video, probably you have a lot of friends who need to hear it, so share with them. Let me know what you think in the comments, and if you're ready to stop being a victim and actually make something happen in your life, check out this video, where I show you four easy ways you can make $1,000 a month or more on YouTube without ever having to go on camera. And of course, if you haven't already, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the little bell icon beside the subscribe button so you are the first to get all my new stuff.